now today I'm here with a new video and I am going to try to say this fast because I think I will start to cry elsewhere uh, either way else if I don't do it uh, I haven't been that active on YouTube this last week and if you haven't seen my community tab or if you don't follow me on Instagram we had to put one of her cats to sleep. Um, she passed away a little over a week ago and I am planning on doing a video about that. How it is to lose a pet. I don't know if I will do it and I am thinking about it and it's like I want to do a separate video about that because I know that not everybody that watches me wants to know. And I am planning today to do a favorite video for September. So that's all about that. I am not going to talk about that in this video at all. And first I was like, okay, I maybe can do a good thread with me and talking about it. And I'm like, how am I even going to put on makeup? So yeah, okay. Enough about that. Today I am going to tell you about my favorites for September. And I actually have some skincare favorites, so I'm going to show them and talk about them with you now. Um, because I've just washed my face and i taken a shower. So I'm going to start with some skincare favorites. And I have three new favorites. And we can start with an eye cream. I have bought this eye cream from a Swedish brand. This is Bougie. And this is double shot caffeine gel cream the puffing eye treatment. And it has like this little beads. Let's see if you can if I can show you. It has these little beads, so it's a little bit cooling and it is so nice to have it on in the mornings. So I've been really loving this. I only use this at in my morning routine because I have really dry I am really dry like around my eyes so I use a thicker cream at night but I really really like this it feels really good it's cooling I don't know if it helps but it feels really good and then I have found a new favorite face serum it's also from Abuji this is the Big City Silky Drops Anti-Pollution Face Serum it is, can you, it is n not like water, but not like super thick. And this I use every morning. I just love it. It keeps me hydrated and it feels really good. So I am taking this on my face. And this feels like a little... I feel a little bit off and that might not be it's so strange but I'm going to try to do this because I really want to film again and if you're wondering how I am I am okay I am super low, low, low in energy and I don't know Maybe it's because I am sad, but my like anxiety has come back like in full force, and for the first time like ever in my life, I have started to taking naps. I have never done that before because if I take a nap on the day, I can't sleep at night, but now I can. I think I never ever have slept this much, but it's not a good sleep either, so I'm still super tired. But I am okay. I don't know why I'm talking about this. I... Oh, okay. To, to the last <laughs> favorite. It is this one. This is from Ren. Uh, this is the Global Protection Day Cream. I bought a box from Look Fantastic with... I think it was six products from Ren. And this was one of them. And I love this day cream. And then I was like, okay, when I am running out of this, I want to buy a new one. And then I check what it costs and I'm like, okay. 
I might not want to buy a new one. Um, but I will see because I really like it. And the thing that I really like about this, this is not that thick. But it really keeps me hydrated during the day. And I uh, just love how it feels and how it looks on my face. So that is my favorite for, that I have discovered in September. Might bought this in October. No, I bought this in September as well. I really love these three and I'm going to keep buying these two and might this one as well. This is very... I have used it for two weeks maybe. No, it must be more. I only use this um, at, uh, in the mornings. And I just love it. It's amazing. And okay, one last thing that isn't makeup that I want to talk about is for my hair. I have a really dry skin and also my scalp is really dry. And I have like nourishing things for my scalp, like in my shampoo. But I have bought these, this, these, this, from the body shop. It's the... It's the Ginger Scalp Serum, and this is amazing. I am always like a little bit itchy in my scalp, but this really helps. So I'm going to try to do this. I always use it after I washed my hair and dried it, and I take it in three times, and this is how I look. I look crazy like this, I know. But this is really, really thick, and I take it up in the pimpet, and I just drop some drops in my hair. And then I go in and massage it. And the first time I used it, I was like, okay, this is going to make my hair greasy. It does not. It sinks in to the scalp and to... Um, yeah. It sinks into the scalp really fast, it doesn't look like disgusting in your hair and it feels really good and I have really noticed a different difference and then I go in like in here as well and do the same thing, you might not need to see this but and then I just like massage it into my whole hair or my whole scalp. And this is really, really helping for me, and I recommend it so, so much if you have a dry, itchy scalp like I do. And it also gives a little bit of volume to the hair. I love it. And okay, I have talked for like 10 minutes, and we haven't even got into the makeup. So that is what we're doing now. And when I tried to pick out favorites for this month, I was like... Okay, I don't even know what I have used. And I haven't... I have done some makeup. October... No, September was a really good month for me. Until the end of September and everything happened with our cat. And our cat Elsa. We still have Astrid. And... Uh, yeah. I don't know. Now October has been like shit. But okay. We are talking about my September favorites. But I haven't had like palette or even like a shade that I've really been loving. So I was planning on doing um, a look with the Escape pod from Kaleidos. I got this in the PR. I have done first impression. I haven't used it that much after that. I think I only filmed with it once. And Kaleidos came out with a new, two new Fusion palettes now in September. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do a look with the Escape pod. I also have some new favorite brushes. I am just going to try to find them. Uh, it's also from a Swedish brand. It is called Flare. Um, it is from Kix, our big beauty store here in Sweden. And I bought some brushes. Oops. 
to do. I think these are all. I think these are all the brushes that I bought from them. And they are really good. They are vegan, and I think I might use some of these today. I will, but I'm going to start with an old trust one. And I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing. I'm just going to try to do a good red with me. We will see how this goes because now I don't know even what I'm talking about. And in the coming week or weeks. I don't know. It might come up new videos. It might come up older videos because I have done. I have filmed some videos that I haven't edited. And uh, yeah. I don't even know how many videos it will be. Because I, I, honestly, I have no idea how I'm feeling right now. Some days are pretty okay. Some days I just want to uh, lay in bed all day. And also, I... Okay, am I going to talk about this? I was asking myself that when I'm going to talk about some personal stuff, but I know that a lot of you appreciate when I'm doing it because a lot of you feel the same things that I do. So, I, how sad I am or how much anxiety I do have, sometimes I'm in a really bad bad place with my anxiety and I like maybe sleep three hours and I am like I feel broken inside but I always still go to work and I know that for someone it might seem like a stupid thing to do but I know myself and I know to have my life as good as it can be and keep my anxiety as good as it can be. I need structure and I need routine in my life and going to work is like one thing that I... I don't love to go to work. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, but I need like that routine. I know some days when I am like off and I like planning, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that, I'm going to clean this, I'm going to decluttering this. It always like ends up me laying in the couch until my boyfriend gets home from work. Because that's this just how I work. I need some routine and also at work I can put on like a mask. I know maybe that is not a good thing. I don't know. But I need like a break from myself sometime. And going to work is really good for me to do that. And I am so glad that I'm not working from home during this pandemic. I need to be at work because I can't do my work at home. And I'm really glad for that because I don't know how I would feel if I would not be able to go to work and meet other people. Okay, I think I want to do a pretty neutral look. Maybe that is my new thing. But I'm actually planning on doing another video after this. And I don't want like a too bold I look for that. So I will see. Oh, are you seeing something that I don't want to do? So I might... I might win with this. I might. I'm doing this. The only thing I don't like with this palette is like... It's stuck like this. So the mirror, it's a little bit tricky to use. Okay, is there something else I want to talk to you about? Before we, because I have some other favorites this month that is um, a lot of base products. I think I have found like my, my kind of base. But it's like I get stuck in like a base routine and I use it a lot. And then I'm 
like sick and tired of it and want to do something else. But like in September I found some new super favorites when it comes to my base routine. And this is boring to do this kind of look with this fun palette. I don't know. But I'm doing this. I'm taking a shimmer. I wonder which shimmer I should take. I think I want to take a purple or a pink shimmer. Let's see. And also, I. Is it too early to talk about this? It's the beginning of October or in the middle of October when you see this. I think. Maybe not. In. December, I am thinking about doing 31 days of red. Is it too early to tell you that? I don't know. I do. I need to change my battery. I'll be back. I love that I decided to buy a new battery. And I love myself for being able to put it so it was fully loaded. And one thing I've been thinking a little bit about, yeah, I think a lot, it seems like. And I never see myself as a bilang bilingual. Like I speak a few languages, I know that I do it, but it's not like I feel like I am an English speaking person. I don't know. I don't know if anybody in Sweden feel like that. Because for us it's like normal to know English and it's nothing you like think about. I usually say that I am not bilingual. Is it even called that? I love if it's the wrong word. I just say that I am pretty good at English. Yeah, we Swedes don't like to brag about ourselves with anything. Okay, what do we think about this? I think I really like it. So I have used this Bossa Nova, Terrace and Cosmic Cabaret. I think I really like this. I think though I want to go in with this Lofi, Lofi, Luffy, Lofi, and just smudge it a little bit here. I don't know if this is going to make any difference. We'll see. Just like smudge it here to have a little bit of a better blend. Okay. I think we are on something here. I actually do. I might just want to go in with... Where did I put that brush? Here. The brush that I had, the dark. Out here. And just... Okay, I don't even know if I needed to do this, but... Whoops. I do it. I might go in with... A kind of clean brush and just take it in my crease and just smudge everything a little bit. Okay, I have some fallout as usual. I'm going to take them away and then we're going into the base. And base products, I have found some new holy grails. So I will fix this and then come back. So time for my base and my new favorite base product and older one okay I love this combo <laughs> one of these are new so it's the bear with me from NYX this is the tinted skin wheel I have it in pale light and I love to have this together with the high glass primer because I think this looks a little bit dry on me it might be because of my dry face and I love to have this under because this gives an amazing glow so I'm going to start with this one and I might look a little bit crazy now when I just put it on. Really been 
loving this. And I have never been like... I've liked NYX a lot, but it never have been like... I don't know. I haven't used it much. Not the base price at least, because I always have felt like they are too dark for me. And... This might shock some of you, but Sweden is not a good country to be pale as me in. I know, it is <laughs> strange because I think some of the palest people live in Sweden, but um, I am like too pale. It is not a problem because I often can like lighten up foundation, but now the latest NYX has started to have the same shade range in Sweden as they have in like the US. Uh, so I guess this is the lightest one and this is a really light coverage and I think that is why I can have it. I have the high glass, no, born to glow foundation came out the same time as this one. I have it in pale. It worked, but it uh, it is like an incidence bit too dark, but this has really light coverage and just works amazing with my light skin tone. I think my skin tone is like pale as a paper. It doesn't show maybe when I'm alone at camera, but when I'm sitting next to someone else, it really shows. So, it looks like this. It really works. Good for me. So, I also have a new favorite sponge. I have been loving the, the one of the Kaleidos sponges. I've only used the purple one. I really like it, but I have used it a lot, so I think it might time for it to be thrown away. But I also bought a punch, <laughs> a sponge from Flair. The new Swedish brand from Kix, and I have been loving this. I saw one Swedish beauty YouTuber, Margareta Gras. I can leave her down in the description, and she talked about this sponge, and she thought it was like too soft. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm loving this soft sponges. It is really soft, but I don't think it's too soft. And do you see this tinted skin wheel? I just... Maybe I don't have a lot to cover because I have quite a good skin. So maybe that is why I love it so much. But I've been really looking for something light and just... So I'm thinking to more like even out my skin and maybe cover a little bit, but not cover too much. And it feels like this has been the only thing that I've used since I bought it. Maybe not, but mostly. And I just feel, it just feels really good. And mostly because the shade, I think it's really good. But I can see it looks really good. And I can really recommend this if you just want something like a light coverage or something just to be there but not be too much. I really, really love it. And then for my concealer, I've been loving the same concealer as I did last month. This is the Fresh Nude Serum Concealer from body shop. I just love this. This, I have it in the shade Zero Zero Light and this is kind of, kind of dark as you can see but this is like the same as with the, the tinted skill, skill wheel, skin wheel, whale, wheel from NYX. It is like it's not that high coverage, it just is, and I really, really been loving this. 
I think this is my new holy grail concealer. It is so light and the fresh nude name is like perfect for it. It is amazing. I'm s I've been starting to like to do my base now because this is I found some really really good products. I'm just going to set this. The only thing I don't super love with this tinted skin wheel is that I need to set it a little bit with powder because it is it is sticky. I think I would be able to have it without setting it, but I want to, so I'm going to do that. So I'm just taking my Nabla powder, still my loved one. So I'm just going to set it. And I usually just set this. I concentrate like on my cheeks. Because I don't want my contour and blush and highlight to be like um, patchy. But I don't need a lot of powder. Just something like that. And I think that is enough. Maybe a little bit more. Then for eyebrows. I am just going to show you one brush. I don't think I will do my brush on camera because it takes a while. I have... I used this one from Anastasia Bubble Hills. And I've used this brush from BH Cosmetics for a while. I think it's hard though to have like good beginning of my brows so i bought this one this is also from a new swedish brand called beauty act it's kick's own brand and this is the micro microblading brow brush and it has this kind of a brush so it's like little holes in the brush do you get what i mean i hope you can see it and this is just amazing to have like out here really love this and i also love the thin little spoolie on this one i don't know why can like a spoolie be bad apparently it can so i always start with this brush from beach cosmetics and right now i need to color my brows again uh, so right now i'm only using the darker shade and i take this like put it under here and I'm doing my br brows on camera so I'm taking this brush to do that and also like the end of my brows yeah I always feel a little bit pressure to do my brows on camera I don't know why so I usually do something like this with that brush and then I'm going in with the other brush, take the same shade and just do like this. And this brush is just amazing. And then I brush them with spooly. And then I go in with a brow gel and right now I'm using the Glossier boy brow in blonde this is not my favorite i am if it is okay so that's for my brows and now i'm going into a new contour favorite if you usually <laughs> read my description where i write everything i use on my face you have seen that i use sculpt from nyx a lot but now i have a new little baby and it's this one. It is, uh, this is from Kaleidos. It's their contour palette. I have it in cool light. I got this in PR as well. And it looks like this. And I actually use this one only for my contour. I, since I got this, I think this might be the only one I have used. The thing I love about this is I really like the color. And it's not that pigmented and I hate to use like two pigmented contour things because if I want to go in with a little bit at a time and yeah I know I do like the most minimal contour ever but I think it 
helps. Helps. I think it shows a little bit. What's up with me? And you have to have in mind, if I don't film, it's like I'm not speaking English that much. I speak a little bit at work, but maybe for like two minutes. So, yeah. And for blush and highlighter, I don't have any special favorite for September. I've used like a lot of things. So I'm just going to put on a blush and a highlighter, spray my face with setting spray. And then I have some little favorites left. You might not need to see this, but I'm going to do my under eyes. And I think I only want to go in with Terrace and Mardi Gras. Or maybe so array. Might be so array. Yeah, that might be better. I don't know. So array is escape, I think. In French. Don't quote me on that. Okay, <laughs> I'm going in with Harris. It's a darker shade that I have on my outer corner of my eye. And I. I know that a lot of you like my Get Red With Me's, but I am going to be honest with you and say that I never am like happy with them because it feels like I'm talking about nothing. I don't know. But you seem to like them and I like to talk to you, so I guess that is good. And I don't know if it will come a favorite video in then now in October because I, I don't know when I will be back to normal not to normal but I hate that this get ready with me it's going to be a little bit low but I, I don't know when I will get back to my maybe not myself but like more in a filming mood but I am in a filming mood because I really wanted to film and that is why I filmed today. But like when I'm feeling better. I am better. I am fine. Maybe not fine, but I am okay. But it's just I n do not know when my energy level will be back to normal. I would love to try to film after work, but... Now the latest week when I have come home from work I play a little bit with Astrid and then me and Astrid lay in the couch or in the bed and just do nothing. And for you that wonder how it's going with Astrid, she's starting to get so big. Like I think she and Elsa was like the same size and Elsa was a grown cat and Astrid is like half a year I am afraid how big she's going to get and uh, yeah my boyfriend is like so happy that she might going to get crazy big I'm like I don't want to okay over to the last second to last favorite I have bought the tie-dye cream gel liners, it's called that from Colourpop, they came out with a new set and I've been loving these two shades. This is Peach Fuss and Amethyst, Amethyst Hour. I love these so much. I'm going to use Amethyst, Amethyst, Amethyst Hour, Amethyst Hour. And okay, for the last favorite, I have three <laughs> lip products, and it's these from Kaleidos. This is the Lip Tonics, and I've been using this so much in September, both on YouTube and off YouTube, and I don't know which color I love the most, but I think with this look, I think Immersion will be the best choice. But this is like one of my favorite favorite formula. This isn't like a liquid lipstick and because it's not that it's more like my lip stain and that is one thing that I've really been loving because 
these I can go out and eat with, I can like have on and it won't look funky when it disappears. I've really been loving that. So yeah, that was all of my favorites for September and for reasons this didn't came up earlier and I might have been a little bit low on this video and I hope you understand why and also I'm thinking about doing a video and talk about how it is to lose a pet. I don't know if I will do it, I don't know if I can make it but I, I think I might would like to see a video like that and yeah I think I'm going to do it but yes I really hope you like this video I don't know how much energy I will have the next couple of weeks I have no idea I am going to try in December as I said it's a long while until December but I'm going to try to do a video each day I wanted to do it last year but I didn't plan ahead so it was impossible for me but now if I start to plan now I have one and a half month on getting ready so I think I will do it this year finally and I am thinking about to have 31 days of red redember no redember Maybe, maybe not. No, it doesn't sound good. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and please tell me if you have some new super favorite that you discovered in September or now in the beginning of October. I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I usually are a little bit more upbeat maybe or maybe not. Maybe this is like my normal state. It might be. But yeah, I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!